Okay, 600 seconds for Hollow Art. And today we have A Train to God. A Train to God! Give it up for me, y'all. Make some noise for me, y'all. Come on, we can do better than that. <laughs> I came all the way from Oklahoma City to do this. <laughs> and thank you so much for joining us today. Happy to have you here. You're welcome. You're welcome. So, if you will, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm just like any other retired veteran, uh, just trying to find my way in the civilian world. Uh, I decided I didn't want to work for nobody no more, so I went to cutting hair, and uh, I'm a father, so I have to set an example. And uh, yeah, pretty much it. I started uh, doing chasing my dreams after having a serious conversation with my daughter, and she was just like, "Well, Dad, you know." you should chase your dreams too, cause you know, you gotta lead by example. And I was just like, you're right. So, so that's where I'm at with it. Hey, I love to hear it, love to hear it. So who, are some, who or what are some of your influences or inspirations? Uh, my grandfather, my grandmother, um, I was surrounded by love growing up. So family always came first and you know, he just, he just showed what a real man is supposed to be like, you know what I mean? He raised my mom, my uncle, and, and his kids, as his kids. And it laid a strong foundation for me. You know, he was more of a father figure to me than my father. So, you know, my, my, my inspiration is my grandfather. Yeah. That's beautiful. So where does your stage name come from? Uh, actually, um, a train means I'm unstoppable. And the God came from me being born in his image and him giving me the ability to create. So that's what I stand on. Yeah. I love that meaning, most certainly. So what's the meaning behind Country Boy City Swingers? Country Boy City Swingers. <laughs> nah, uh, I'm originally from Mount Pleasant, Texas, so it's a little country town, probably about 12,000 population. And uh, I moved to Atlanta, Georgia um, growing up, and I graduated from Atlanta, so I was a country boy trying to make my hustle to get and fit my way in, and I just, you know, learned how to swag with everybody else. Yeah. So that's why I come with that. Okay. okay. So what do people in Oklahoma claim? The West, the South, or somewhere else? Uh, they claim wherever they're from, I guess. I mean, a lot of people I meet from Oklahoma aren't from Oklahoma. They just been there a long time. Uh, it's, it's pretty much growing like any other state like Atlanta because the, the weed industry has opened up. So, I mean, there's a lot of people from everywhere. So, I mean, I couldn't really say. Yeah. What is the Oklahoma sound all about? Well, everybody has an individual sound, if you ask me. There are a lot of great artists that are yet to be found in Oklahoma, and I think, you know, if we start bringing some attention to Oklahoma, it'll be that. But I couldn't honestly say what an Oklahoma sound sounds like, because the music industry is so watered down that everybody kind of sounds like somebody. Like, I mean, I don't really listen to too much hip hop or rap or anything like that, but, um, I don't know, people tell me I sound like other people all the time, and I'd be like, who is that? But, you know, that's just how it is. So, how would you rate your skills as a barber? I'm one of the best barbers in the world. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Period. <laughs> they call me the blend guy. Premium blends only. I will fire your barber. Period. Y'all better hit him up. Get a good cut. So you did hit on family a little bit earlier, um, because my next question was, how important is family to you? It's number one. Yeah. Number one under God. Yeah. Talk to us about, if you want it, I got it. Well, that was a personal song. Uh, me and my wife, we were just, you know, before she was my wife, we were just sitting around talking, and I said, baby, it don't matter. Whatever you want, you can have it. If you want it, I got it. And they just kind of came up with a song. We was in there listening to the beat. So that was like when I very first started. So Aww. it was just something simple. That's cool. <laughs> Shout out to the wife. What's the best work you've done so far? Um, 
putting a team together. Before my music, I was doing it by myself. And uh, then my wife started coming around and she started doing music with me. And then Cheesy came around and then Low Key came around and then, oh my gosh, everybody just started pouncing in on me like out of nowhere. So for me to be able to create a team and it become real solid, Country Boy City Swag and ENT, Country Girl City Swag and ENT. And then for me to be able to link in with Soul and B Nation and partner up, like the team that we have right now, I feel is unstoppable. So I think that was probably one of my biggest achievements. Shout out to the Soul and B Nation. Give it up yes, for y'all. So tell us about some upcoming events and projects that you may have. Well, we're gonna be, uh, I got an artist out of Africa that we're, I'm doing an EP with him. It's called Sean West Hood, Coming to America, Coming Soon. Uh, that's pretty exciting. It, it, it gives an international flavor and it talks about his struggle and compared to my struggle, but you know, similarities and differences. Yo, that's dope. I'm, I'm personally looking forward to that. So I will definitely be on the lookout for real. So what's your favorite childhood memory? Do you have one? Learning how to drive. My grandpa, he, hey, once again, he put me in that wheel. I was like five, <laughs> but hey, in the country, you can get away with things like right. that, <laughs> you know? I feel you there. <laughs> so tell us about some of your tattoos. Well, of course, you know, I got my, my two strong black women on my strong forearms. And then I call this my shield, which is Stoke. Jesus' face. And it's also him on a cross. And then I call this my sword, which is my cross. So... Don't, cinema. don't. Y'all gonna make me get some ink. I, ain't, I don't have a single piece of ink. But anyway, <laughs> if you could visit one place in the world, anywhere, what, what's that one place you would most like to visit? Africa. I want to go to Africa. I definitely want to go, and I'm definitely going. Yeah. Very soon, I'm going to get my artists, and we're coming back to America. Yeah. Hence, Sean West Hood coming to America. Yeah, yeah. That's dope, yo. Now, do you have a favorite comedy TV show? I don't really watch TV too much. Okay. I be too busy in the lab trying to find a hit. I respect it. Most certainly respect it. So a music playlist. Um, if you could select two songs for a playlist, one song for the day, one song for the night, what two songs would they be? Mm. That's a hard one. Okay, for the daytime, I love waking up to my boy Bel Air from Oklahoma City, Eat Him Up. I gotta give a shout out to him. I love that song. Eat it up, eat it up, eat it up, eat it up. Uh. Hey. And uh, nighttime, I would definitely have to go with, uh, I'd have to take it back to some old genuine. You know, that's just what I do. Yeah, it's classic. So if you could work with one artist or creative, who would that be? Timbaland. Timbaland. I definitely would want to work with Timbaland or Missy Elliott. Mm -hmm. So what would be your I made it moment? My what? Your I made it moment? <sighs> when I have my own neighborhood. I don't want just a mansion, I want a neighborhood. I want a whole neighborhood full of houses. I want to put people in homes. That's dope. Do you have any advice for others? Yes, uh, anything you speak, if you believe it, you feel it, you can achieve it. And you just gotta keep pushing and don't let nobody stop you. Anything you want, you can have. All you gotta do is think it, speak it, believe it, feel it. Y'all clap it up for that advice, because I don't know if y'all heard it, but I did, loud and clear. Okay? So why should people follow and support you? 
because I'm a hard worker. I get up every day just to get it, my grind residual. Won't y'all like to see a black man get up every day and go Most get certainly. it the legal way? And plus, I mean, I, I, we just opened up three businesses. I'm doing all this plus rapping, plus traveling. Hey man, I have a good time. You know, I try to be a good role model. So if y'all want to send y'all kids to some positivity, Definitely sending an A-Train to God and Soul and B Nation. So with that, how can people follow and support you? Well, you can follow me on any social media platform, A-Train, D-A, God, and IG. You can find me at A-T-D-G-B 2020 or Country Boy City Swag. Boy with an I. Do you have any final shout outs? I want to give a shout out to my whole crew and even the ones who are not here. Uh, I want to give a shout out to my wife for allowing me to come, um, my children for blessing me with a, a, a good morning video even though I wasn't there. I want to give a shout out to my mom. I want to give a shout out to the crew that's back in Oklahoma City that couldn't come with us. Country Boy City Swaggin is here to stay, man. Hey, shout out Solon B Nation. Shout out Hollow Art. Thank you for having me. This was definitely a pleasure. I definitely didn't know I was getting an interview. <laughs> thanks, thanks Solon B. <laughs> so the last question that I have is, will you be performing for us tonight? If y'all want me to. Y'all want me to perform? I got some new stuff I can perform. I'll do it. I, we looking forward to in it, y'all. In fact, I'll bring, I'll bring my team up. We can do something. We, we gonna, definitely going to get, get on the mic in. with me. We yeah, definitely going to get the performance something. in. But y'all, make some noise for A-Train to God. A-Train to God! Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. <laughs> Pleasure. Hold on, DJ. I want to introduce y'all to Cheesy the Goat. This is the princess. Country girl sitting swagging in your team. I got a friend with us. Hey, DJ, drop that. Hey, TG, you can cut your butt, see the swag in your teeth. It's time to turn this thing on. We can go positive, now it's time to turn the fuck up. Look. She started a pawn, I made her a queen. She killed her every suit, they put her between. I said, is that something he thought it was tea? She's just a rookie, but I'm on the scene. Cut your butt, see the swag in your teeth. Who is my man when I'm a part of pain? I'm never sleeping, I'm living a dream. I'm just in a dream.
Like you deserve a little bit more than what you're giving when you give us it all. 